The Amazing Adventures of Aya and Pete in New York. Words by Serena Minot and Asha Gore. Illustrations by Carolina Buzio. The Amazing Adventures of Aya and Pete in New York. Good morning, Aya's aunt announces, carrying a brown paper bag. I have a treat for you. Bagels! Naja shouts, jumping up from her seat. Thanks, Mom. Naja toasts a cinnamon raisin bagel and smears it with cream cheese. Aya, you have to try this, she insists. They're the best bagels in the city. Pete nudges Aya. I told you, he says quietly. You can't visit New York and not have a good bagel. Located on the continent of North America in New York State, New York City is the largest city in the United States of America. It is home to more than 8 million people. New York is known by many names, the Big Apple, Empire City, Gotham, and the city that never sleeps. The people of New York are called New Yorkers. They speak many different languages, but the most common is English. After breakfast, Naja suggests that they visit the Brooklyn Bridge. We can walk, she says. Plus, I know all the shortcuts. Cool, Aya replies. I thought we had to take the subway. The subway is New York's giant network of under and above ground trains. Aya and Naja hold hands as they walk. Naja waves to her neighbors along the way. Aya, Pete whispers as they walk across the Brooklyn Bridge. You know bridges make me nervous, he says, his little sloth voice shaking. Don't worry, Pete, Aya says. I'll keep you nice and safe in my pack. The following day, Aya's aunt takes them on a whirlwind tour of New York City. Aya and Pete visit historic neighborhoods, Harlem, Little Italy, Chinatown, and marvel at the famous sites. Wow, Aya exclaims as they emerge from the train. The buildings in New York seem to stretch into the clouds. They're called skyscrapers, Naja explains. That one is the Empire State Building, she adds, pointing to one of the buildings nearby. Can we climb to the top, Aya? Please, can we? Pete pleads from behind. I've seen it in a movie. We just have to do it. The next morning, Mommy and Papa return. Aya is excited to share with them all the adventures she and Pete have had in New York. And when she reaches for Pete, He's not there. Petey, it's too early to play hide and seek. Pete? Aya shouts again. She checks her backpack. No Pete. She checks under the bed. No Pete. Mommy, Papa, she cries. Pete's missing. I can't find him anywhere. Aya, Mommy replies gently. If you can remember the last time you had Pete, we'll backtrack until we find him. Aya and Naja tried to retrace their steps from the day before. We visited the N Museum of Natural History, Aya remembers. It's Naja's favorite. Aya loved seeing the blue whale exhibit, but Pete was startled by the dinosaur bones. After the museum, we walked through Central Park, Naja recalls. Aya remembers the horse carriages and watching boaters on the lake but I still had Pete. Then Naja remembers having lunch at a pizzeria. That's right, she says, Pete must be there. When they arrive at the restaurant, it's a bustling lunch hour. Big pies are offered by the slice and on thin paper plates. Everything in New York is fast and busy, Papa observes. He asks one of the servers about Pete. Sorry, haven't seen him, the young man replies as he whizzes by. After lunch, they walk through Greenwich Village and pass the shops in Soho. They do not find Pete. Finally, Aya remembers their ferry boat ride to see the Statue of Liberty. 
I think I know where Pete is, she cries out. They check the ferry station, but Pete is nowhere to be found. Aya sits quietly, trying to remember when she last had Pete. Suddenly, a nearby hot dog vendor calls out, Hey, you, kid with the striped shirt! I think you forgot something yesterday. The vendor reaches down in his cart and pulls out a yellow sloth. Petey! Aya thanks the kind vendor. He also hands her a map of New York City. Maybe that'll help you out next time you're in a pickle, kid, he says laughing. Aya smiles. She keeps the map as her New York souvenir. Later that evening, Mommy takes Aya and Pete and Naja to see a Broadway show near Times Square. Aya loves seeing the bright lights of the big city. She hugs Pete and keeps him close. The end. Thank you for joining us for this special book. Aya and Pete in New York City, words by Serena Minot and Asha Gore, illustrations by Carolina Buzio. If you like this book and want to read along with us next time, pick up a copy to support the author and artist. The link is in the bio below. Please like and subscribe, and until next time, sweet dreams. <laughs>